everyone, it's me, X Minutes, and today I'm really, really excited because me and my boyfriend drove for six hours, like six hours to go pick up these dolls, and yeah, it's a little bit crazy, but I went to some lady's house in Victoria, Texas, and picked up her entire collection of Winx dolls and a few other, like, random dolls that I was interested in that she had, and the total for this entire lot was $140, and that becomes relevant when you see just how many things that I picked up. So I got these... Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. And these. Alright, so I'm just gonna get started. Um, so first right here is Harmonix Bloom, and as you can see, her wing is absolutely destroyed. Uh, I only found one of the wings in the lot of stuff, so unfortunately that's all she gets. But honestly, it's such a pretty doll with like a pretty face, and just... Wings are one of the easiest things to recreate. Um, not perfectly, of course, but just in general, you can make like a really nice wing swing, like I did with my Enchantix dolls. And yeah, I'm excited to fix her hair, honestly, because I want to see what happens. What is this? <laughs> but yeah, um, most of her dolls were in like really, really good condition. They're mostly just like, from not even being played with, just being like set aside. They're kind of messed up from that. All right, and this next one is a testament to that. This is Enchantix Bloom from the Good vs. Evil pack. She doesn't have her wings, but I think I know where they are, and she doesn't have her shoes. But I do have a bag of random accessories that who knows what's in there. <laughs> All right, and then here is Sirenix Underwater Bloom, who looks like she's complete. Yep, she has her little bracelet. So yeah, she's complete, which is pretty cool. It's really beautiful. All right, here is Believix Musa uh, from the original. These are all Jacks. Um, I think I have her wings too, which is really really exciting because I think she's actually in better condition than my Believix Musa. Um, although mine has been with me for so long and she's super special, but this one's just really, really pretty. So I think I want to customize her somehow and keep her. Um, this is City Style Stella, who was one of my favorites that I had for a long time. And now I have another one and her face is just really, really pretty. So I'll probably find something to do with her. Yeah, such a cool doll. And again, I'm just so excited to fix all these dolls hair. This is one that I didn't already have, and I'm really, really excited to add her to my collection. This is Everyday Bloom. Uh, y'all, this is like one of the most common Jack Pacific dolls just in general, and I never ended up with her, which is really funny, but yeah, here she is. She's missing her little armband, but funny enough, I have the armband, but not the doll, because I bought a custom Monster High of Bloom, and she just so happened to be wearing the armband. Serendipity. All right, these are some wings that are going to be relevant later, so I'm gonna set them aside. Here is Believix Flora, who is in pristine condition. She's just a little messy, which is really cool because all of my Believe Explorer dolls are in such bad shape. So I'm probably going to end up making this one my main Believe Explorer doll because mine is so bad. Y'all have seen her. She's she's bad. <laughs> she's rough. All right, here is Pink Enchantix Bloom. Super pretty. Um, yeah, she actually looks better than mine, uh, her face and everything. And she looks to be complete. Depends on if she has her wings or not, which I think she does. I think I saw them. Um, here is Good vs. Evil Stella, who again is missing her shoes. Uh, it seems like this kid played with the Good vs. Evil pack quite a bit. Also, I never found Icy. Um, here is Sofix Bloom, who, uh, is falling apart a little bit, but she's got everything. I think I saw her wings too, which is good. Alright, next up we have Charmix Bloom. I did not find her wings. She also had Charmix Flora, but I just left her behind. I don't know why. Because, <laughs> um, uh... The original lot that I'm showing you right now in this box were we had already agreed on $100 and then uh, she let me dig through other doll bins and find more and I did find more Winx dolls um, that I added um, and I vetted a few out so that I could get like a better price and not feel so bad about it. So I think I left uh, Charmix Flora. I think that's the only Jax doll that I left behind. All right, here is Concert Bloom. I don't actually have Concert Bloom. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I just have a Believix Bloom wearing Concert Bloom's outfit, so this is going to be my new main Concert Bloom. She doesn't have her belt, but obviously I have her belt, so score. <laughs> and here is another Believix Bloom. I can never have enough Believix Blooms. I love her. She is missing a sock, I just noticed, but I have more than enough extras. Um, concert Aisha. Um, unfortunately for my collection, I do already have her, but it's Nice to have another one. This is a harder to find doll. She's actually wonky and it's really funny. Like her eyes are like up more and together more. Uh, yeah, really fun doll. Here is Believix Aisha, who is in rougher shape than mine. But as you guys know, mine has a broken wing and I'm pretty sure her wings are in this lot. So, hey! <laughs> All right, here is Sky. I have not seen his sword, so I don't think we're gonna have that. But yeah, just. Another sky for the collection. He has a different, like, his cape is much thinner than my sky's cape, for whatever reason. 
I could like customize them or something. This is a one that I'm really excited about because this is another doll that I didn't already have. Um, uh, as you guys know, I have an almost complete Jack Specific collection, so getting some of the Jack Specific dolls that I didn't already have is really, really exciting. So this is City Bloom, and as you can see, her arm is chewed off, but like, we can just put her head on a different body and forget about that. But it's a pretty impressive chew, man. And she's wearing Speedix pack shoes, which is nice, can never have enough of those. And yeah, super excited because these dolls are for some reason so hard to find and people way overcharge for them. So yay, another one added. Um, all right, next up, Sirenix Flora. I did see her wings. I know we have those. And her hair is super soft and pretty. Uh, she's wearing broken Jack Specific Mechanism wings. Maybe those go to her wings. I don't know. But yeah, super pretty. Uh, this is my third Jack Specific Flora Sirenix doll now because I have a nude one. So, cool. Uh, here is Bloomix Stella Complete. Awesome! Bloomix Stella is one of my favorite Jax dolls, just design-wise, so I'm probably gonna take her clothes off and redress another Stella doll in this that doesn't look as good on her body, because I love this one's bangs. I don't know. I don't know yet with my plans for all of these, but I'm just super, super grateful and excited to add them to my collection. Um, here is Bloomix Stella, who is pretty messy, but you know, can't hurt to have another articulated Stella, and I love Believe Stella's face with her pretty cherry red lips. And mine, I trimmed my uh, Enchantic Stella's hair, so it'll be nice to just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> here is Concert Flora, who I also don't, well, I have like a really bad condition one that I got at like, I don't even know, probably like on eBay or something, uh, in a lot. Uh, and I also have my terrible Believe Floras, and this one's in pretty good shape. Um, her hair looks like it was never touched since it got out of the box. In mine, her jacket's torn up and this one's like perfect. So I'm definitely going to be replacing mine with this one. So yay. Um, here is, oh my gosh, she was just sitting in there with her wings. This is Bloomix Aisha, who is one of my favorite Jax dolls. And I already have a plan for this one. This is going to be Enchantix Aisha for Jax most likely. Um, even if not, she will just wait until the day that I figure out what I'm gonna do with her. All right, here is Bloom Sirenix. I saw that her wing looked like a moth wing in the picture and I didn't know why. And it looks like it's because the mechanism broke. It's really interesting. I've never seen it like that. Um, I don't know where the other wing is yet, but I thought I saw it in the lot picture. And this is super exciting too, because my Bloom Sirenix, as you guys know, has a broken leg and this one does not. So yay. Um, my Bloom Sirenix is super special because I got her as like a Christmas present for my grandma. So I'm probably just gonna rehead or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but super exciting to have a not broken one. <laughs> All right, here is Flora Enchantix. Uh, she's in great shape, not articulated like mine. That that threw me off for a second. Forgot that I changed mine up. And yeah, her, her hair looks to be in really, really nice condition. It's just a mess, so it'll be nice to brush through that. And I can definitely do videos restoring these if you guys want to see that. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, here is Bloomix Bloom. Love her. She, I think, is complete. I think I saw her wings earlier in the wing bag. But yeah, so beautiful. Really love this doll. I uh, don't know what I have planned for her yet, but she's definitely going to have something very fun. Probably Enchantix. <laughs> I'm not super in love with the Enchantix dolls. Or she could be Believix. I don't know. Just now that I have the, like, better quality Sirenix, or not Sirenix, um, the better quality, like, Jack Specific faces, it'll be fun to redress them. This is actually the doll, in addition to Ble Bloomix Aisha, that I first saw. There were only two of them in the first picture that I saw that the girl had posted. And then when I asked her if she had more, sh this is what she showed me. So here she is. Sirenix Techna! This is so cool because I always wanted another one to make a custom Roxy doll, and as you guys know... I don't know if you can see her. I don't know where she is. Yeah, she's right there. I already made one, but I don't know. Uh, Sirenix Techno is one of my favorite Jax dolls, just face-wise. I think she's so beautiful, and I'm really, really excited to have this extra face in my arsenal to play with, um, and she's gorgeous. Yay! So yeah. Um, so that's all the dolls from the original box. So all of those together, minus a few that I added in from the bag, were like around $100, which is pretty incredible, I'd say. <laughs> All right, and then this bag are, is full of things that I found at the house that she let me add to the lot for only 40 extra dollars. So I'm just going to start pulling things out from the top. Um, oh, I should probably go through the wing swings first. Never mind. Okay, so these are the wing swings. She put them in bags for me already, so I didn't really get to see who was complete and who wasn't. Um, that's not why she did it or anything. Okay, so we have a Believix Musa wing. We have a Believix Stella wing. Enchantix Flora wing. 
Uh, probably Saranix Underwater Bloom's Wings. Enchantix Bloom Wing. Interesting. This is Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom's Wing. See, I knew she had more Wing Stalls. Um, Aisha Bolivix score. I can fix mine. <laughs> um, get out of the bag. How'd she get this in here? Uh, this is Sparkling Light Sirenix Bloom's Wings, who is not in the slot, so... I dug through all of her Dolbins, so there must be more hiding somewhere. She already got rid of them. Uh, Bolivix Bloom. There's some hair. <laughs> Enchantix Stella. Is this not the mate? No. And this is a Flora Sirenix Wing. Um, and next is the second bag. Oh gosh, I hope we find a bunch of pears in here, because I'm gonna be really sad if there's a bunch of lonely ones. Looks like we're missing Sirenix. Oh well. Um, this goes to City Style Bloom, I think, who's not in here, but we also have City Style Stella. This really stinks because I'm missing City Style Floras, but there's no City Style Flora Wings in here, but it's fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Okay, I see we have a mate for Musa's Wing, which is good, because she's probably gonna be one that I trade away. I don't know. Because uh, I don't... I don't know. Um, Believix Power Tecna. Uh, secret... Uh, spoiler! Uh, Believix Musa. Enchantix Bloom, Enchantix Stella, both of Bloomix Bloom's wings, yay. Um, one pink Enchantix Bloom wing, Flora Believix both, Flora Sirenix wing with a Flora Enchantix wing, so that means there's a Flora Sirenix, or er, Harmonix hiding somewhere. Um, the Sophix Bloom, both of her wings, uh, Believix Aisha, and one Bloom wing, Believix. Okay, so we have both of the Sophix wings. Both of the Believix Stella wings. Uh, we do have both of the Enchantix Flora wings, I believe. Uh, not that that's a super hard to find one or anything, but yeah, we do. Uh, we have one Harmonix Flora wing. Uh, both of the Believix Flora. Both Enchantix Stella. This is very exciting. <laughs> both of Believix Bloom. Both of. Oh man, I just noticed that bend in Believix. At least it's not broken. It's kind of cool because mine snapped my Tecna. Watch me snap it. Hmm. I'll put that in like a book or something. It's not that bad. Okay, so both of Bloomix Bloom's wings. Sparkling lights, Sirenix Bloom's wings. Looks like we dropped one. Thank you. Um, I had both of these, but I don't know where the other one is. But like, I literally had them in my hand. So I'm going to be pretty mad if I lost one. Uh... Looks like we only have one pink Enchantix, but like, uh, both of Bloomix Stella's, uh, one really mangled Harmonix Bloom, one broken Flora Sirenix, but I think there was one attached to her, it was that Bloom. Uh, Bloomix Aisha, both. Surprise, both. Um, both of Musa's Bleevix, both of Bloom's Enchantix. Okay, so the ones that are missing their mates so far are uh, Pink Enchantix Bloom, that stinks. Um, Believix Aisha, Believix Power Techna, which I saw both, so I'm really hoping I didn't just like leave it on her kitchen table or something, because that would be a true tragedy. And one Believix Bloom wing. There's more wing stalls. Okay, so now I'm just gonna start pulling things out of this bag and really hope that I find the extra Believix Power Techna wing. <laughs> So this is actually the uh, Laguna Hydration Station for Monster High. Um, I grabbed this because obviously the doll, I found the doll. <laughs> um, really paranoid about that Believix or Techno one, yeah. Anyway, this is a bag of accessories that I guess I'll go through at the end of the video because I doubt you all want to see it. But she told me if I saw a single accessory that I wanted to just take the bag. And I saw one shoe from an Abby doll that I picked out. Alright, so here's another Jax doll that I was missing, so I'm super excited to have her. It's the Beach Stella doll. Um, did not have her. I have Beach Bloom and I, yeah, just Beach Bloom. So now I have Beach Bloom and Stella. So yay. I'm only missing Aisha and Flora now. Um, here is Monster High Dawn of the Dance Gulia. So cool. N no shoes. Sincerely doubt they're in the bag. This was like the only accessory bag, unfortunately, that I could have taken. Um, so yeah, no shoes on her, but I don't think that'll be the hardest thing to find or find other shoes to put on her, but yeah, that's a super hard to find doll that I've been looking for, so it's pretty cool to have her. Um, Believix Tecna, we didn't get any of her wings, but just thought I'd grab her. Uh, 
This one is one I'm so excited about because, again, this is one of the Jax dolls that I was missing, and this one was a lot harder to find than all the other ones that I got a hold of. It is Everyday Tecna. I have been looking for this doll since 2013 when I started collecting Winks. Like, and I know I can say that about any Winks doll, but, like, this one genuinely, her in Believix Tecna, I was, like, actively seeking out, and, like, if I had found her, I would have dropped everything and bought her. And I think I found her in the store at some point and just passed on her, and I really regretted it because I never got a hold of her, and I finally have her. I just never picked up the everyday line. So now I have everyday Stella and Bloom and Tecna. So I still need three more, but we're getting there. <laughs> All right. Here is 2.0 Cleo. She is missing an arm. I don't know if there was an arm accessory on that arm, but I hope not. Because otherwise she's, um, outfit wise, she's complete. She might have had a necklace. I don't know. I'm not that picky where I'm like, everything has to be complete or it can't be on the shelf. So I don't mind. Um, next up is... Fear leading Draculaura from the Fear leading pack. Super stoked when I saw these girls. I think I'm missing Frankie if she came with the pack because I have the other three. But yeah, I really love this pack. I love the Fear leading uniforms. I love that these ones have like special uniforms that are specific to them, you know, with like the sleeves and stuff. Um, unfortunately, this one has some stains, but I'm going to wash all these clothes because they have a cigarette smell. And I don't want that spreading to my other dolls. Um, next up is Magic Ocean Bloom. That's what those wings... Uh, from earlier. I don't know where they went. But I saw the wings, like, before I found this doll. Uh, she told me that she sorted out and found all her Winx dolls, but I guess she didn't look that hard or something, because I found more. Or she just didn't know they were all Winx, because I'm very- <laughs> I'm kind of an expert at this point. Um, I found these wings, and I was like, those are witty wings. Like, I- the no Jack's doll came with those wings, unless I, like, missed an entire line or something. But- <laughs> And then uh, I found this fire engine red hair and stumbled upon this magic ocean bloom and freaked out. I was so excited because um, I love mermaid dolls. And this is just so cool. And it's like a witty doll, too. And it's kind of rare to find witty dolls in America. And I keep finding them. They just keep coming to me. Um, but yeah, she's complete for my intents and purposes. And I'm very, very happy to have her. And yay, I'm going to have to complete the line now. But I'm um, really, really glad to have Bloom. She's so pretty, and her hair looks to be in pretty good shape. Like, I like when the hair looks like this, because it's not really damaged. It's just kind of tangled. Um, but yeah, super, super pretty doll. Was definitely not expecting to find her. Um, yeah. Next up is Magic Wings Bloom. I didn't find the stand or the wings, but still a good find. Mine's in the box, and I have one out of the box. And I have so many Believix Bloom extra wings, I can just pop some on her for when I display her. Or just make her some, because... This doll is a lot closer to, like, the the prototype design, you know? Or, like, even, like, the show design with the lighter colors. So I could, like, print the more accurate colored wings and put them on her or something. I don't know. I'll find a use for her. I think she's very, very pretty. I like Believix Bloom a lot, so I don't mind having more. Yeah! Uh, next up is a very disheveled, I know, uh, Dead Tired Laguna. Yeah, she's... Her outfit and skin is yellowed, probably from cigarette smoke. She's very smelly. So is her, uh, station. But, like, I could not leave this behind, guys. Like, this is a doll that I've, like, seen and sought after since the beginning of my stalking Monster High and not collecting them. So, like, I don't know. I just... A lot of these older dolls, like, they just, like, it really clicked with me. Like, I want to take them home and clean them up and give them a beautiful new home and... I don't know. <laughs> All right. Next up is one that... Another one that, like, I was really excited about because this is one that I don't know I just thought I would never have and it's really really cool to be given the opportunity to get her and give her a nice home and it is Roadster Draculaura uh just a really unique doll like when I first saw her I was like who is that and then I figured it out because I'd never actually seen her even in person I think she was like a JCPenney or Kohl's exclusive which makes her even more like exclusive so yeah I'm really really excited to have her I think she's such a such a pretty doll and I know at some point at like a thrift store or something I'm gonna find that Roadster so She'll be mated with it someday. Unfortunately, she is missing a shoe. But, like, I have so many extra Monster High shoes, and again, I'm not picky. So, it's okay. Uh, next up is my girl, Believix Power Techna, and thank goodness she is wearing that extra wing. So, her, um, a lot of these dolls have a similar break in their mechanisms, so I'm just gonna have to glue the wing back on, probably. But, luckily, the wing survived and made it through the day. And yeah, she even still has her shoes with the rubber bands on, so that's pretty cool. Um, the reason this this uh, girl had so many Techna dolls, her mom said Techna was her favorite, and she said she had to like look really hard for Techna, and I'm like, I feel you. I did the same thing. Techna was my favorite too. 
Uh, she was really cool. She was, like, geeking out with me about it. It was really fun. Her hair looks like it might have been cut. Or maybe... Because mine's definitely longer in a different style than this. But it doesn't look, like, choppy. It kind of does, but they look like that in the factory. I'm not sure. But, yeah, super, super pretty. I love this, like, face and everything, so I'm probably going to end up, I don't know, making harmonics or something with her. Not sure. But, yeah, super, super pretty. Love Tecna. Especially, I believe it's Power Tecna. Like, that's such a really nice one um next is fear leading pack gulia who still has plastic on her wrist and she is completely complete which is awesome oh wow the paint from her socks is like getting on her ew i don't know what i'm gonna do about that uh anyway she's complete she's she's a little smelly but <laughs> we're gonna wash everybody up really good such a cool doll this is the reason i wanted that fear leading pack there were so many gulias that were exclusive and gulia was like one of my favorites definitely Oh, if she came with glasses, I don't have those, but, like, extra Gulia glasses are not that hard to find. And she looks beautiful without them, too. And, like, this is just such an iconic doll with, like, such a cool outfit. And I just remember her being so, like, illustrious. And I saw the pack in the store, but I didn't pick it up. And I regretted it ever since. So it was really, really cool to find these dolls here. So now they're mine. Um, and another one from that pack is Miss Cleo here. I'm pretty sure she's complete, too. I don't know, I'm not that much of an expert where I'd be like, she's missing a bangle bracelet on her right arm, you know, but yeah, um, all Cleo dolls that I end up with are wonky, and this one is no exception, unfortunately, but it's fine, because um, the way I plan to display Monster High dolls in the future is just to, you know, just like a lot of them together, and um, my super wonky dolls, you can do like tricks of photography or angles to make them look less wonky, so it's fine. Um, and this is just such a cool, stunning set, especially from far away. So if this was a four pack and not a three pack, like I think it was, well, I thought it came with Frankie, but I know there was a fashion pack with Frankie, so I really don't remember. It's been so long, I haven't been, my like throat hurts from smelling the cigarette, is that bad? These poor dolls. All right, this is really funny because if you guys watched my, uh, my thrift store vlog, I think my first one, yeah, my first one, I, um... I kept debating whether or not to get this Gloom Beach Draculaura because she was wearing Gloom Beach Gulia's outfit, and I decided against it. And then, lo and behold, I end up with an actual Gloom Beach Gulia. Um, she doesn't have her shoes, and if there was any jewelry, she doesn't have that either. But, like, Gloom Beach Gulia? Yes. So now I have Gloom Beach Cleo, Frankie, Gulia, and Draculaura. She had Claudine, but, like... I don't know, I, w I wasn't feeling her, and I was trying to not be super greedy and, like, pick out all the dolls that were like, oh, this one's the rarest. Like, you know, I was trying to pick out the dolls that I truly wanted to have in my collection next, and, I don't know, these are the ones that I ended up narrowing it down to. And the reason a lot of them are super rare ones, it's not that I'm like, I'm gonna sell these and make a bunch of money, <laughs> It's like, they're ones that I didn't really think I was ever gonna get a hold of, regard like, except for this, and it was just very convenient. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need to get her some shoes as well. Yeah, lots of pretty Gulias in this slot. Very exciting. All right, she said that her favorite was Laguna, so there's quite a few Lagunas. This is 2.0 Laguna with no shoes, unfortunately, but um, she looks to have everything else, which is pretty nice. And this is a doll. Oh, gosh, I forgot she had the... Can't do that. I can't do it. Oh, my gosh. Is that it? Yeah. I forgot she had that. Anyway, I saw her in stores so many times when I was uh, first starting to collect, and I never picked her up but I always wanted to. And then by the time I had decided like, yes, I'm gonna get her now, she was gone. I was like, great. And that happened so many times, like Signature Abby. Um, so yeah, she's like pretty rough right now. Like her hair is messy and stuff, but like she's in great shape and I'm really excited about her. Uh, too bad about the shoes though, but it's okay. Again, extra Monster High shoes are not <laughs> impossible to find or anything. This one is a really, really cool and special find because I just love the Dawn of the Dance line, and it is Dawn of the Dance Laguna. When I, like, really, like, before I even started collecting, and I was watching, like, um, what was her name? Wookie Warrior or something? Uh, I used to, like, binge her videos, and I, one of them really, really liked the, the mohawk on this doll. It looks like this one might be cut. I hope not. <laughs> anyway, they really liked this, like, crazy hairstyle, and they kept pointing it out, and, like, every doll reviewer would be like, oh my gosh, this doll's so amazing with the cool hairstyle and stuff. But by the time I had started collecting, she was out of stores, so I never ended up with her. Um, but I always thought she was really cool, and I always, like, casually was seeking her, and I never found her for sale for a good enough price where I would get her before somebody else would snap her up, because this is one of those ones, like, everybody wants. And it's pretty obvious why. Um, 
But yeah, she's super, super cool. So glad she has her shoes because these are some really cool shoes and they were never recasted that I know of. So yeah, um, I think I have her arm actually. There's a Laguna arm that fell off in this box. So I think in this bag, um, I think I saw one. Um, next up is, okay, so I picked this one up at first, like just being like, ooh, I wanted this Ghoulie doll, but I didn't remember who it was. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm that bad, like I'm that out of practice with Monster High. Um, but um, after a while, I realized that this is that physical dedication, the school lockers pack one. And my second Monster High doll was actually the Laguna from this set. And I always loved the Gulia, specifically this dress, which is really cool that she actually came with this dress because she came with two outfits. So it's pretty convenient that this girl just so happened to dress her like this before she never touched her again and put her in a bin for me to find years later. Um, but yeah, super excited. She's going to be able to sit with her friend, my Laguna, and it's going to be like really nice. Um, unfortunately her locker was not there. I do love those lockers, but she could have been from the release that didn't come with the locker. Here's the extra Laguna arm. Um, it's the, it's this arm, so it's not hers. I don't remember what other Laguna I picked up that might have been missing an arm, actually. There was a signature Laguna too. I, I didn't mean to pick up an extra arm if this doesn't go to any of mine. Hmm. It could go to 2.0. Where did 2.0 go? Oh, <gasps> is it yours? It's yours! Okay, even if it's not hers, it fits, so whatever. Um, yay, found it. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have... This is Sweet Scream's Abby. Um, Abby's one of my favorite characters, and I was... I liked the Sweet Scream's line, but it never screamed at me enough for me to go pick it up. Um, but I always regretted it because they got really expensive, and I liked them a lot. And it just so happened that she had a Sweet, sweet Scream's Abby in one of the bins, so I picked her out. And the reason I picked up this giant bag is because... There's a Sweet Screams Abby shoe that she's missing, so yay! Because uh, a lot, like, I don't think I would be able to put another shoe on her that wouldn't look super out of place. Uh, and she has her headband, it's right here. I didn't see Shavir, but anything's possible in this weird bag. <laughs> Alright. Um, next up is a Concert Techna. I don't know why I forgot the name of that line for a second. I was like, did I get it right? <laughs> Okay, so she's missing her barrette, but I do have an extra. And this is exciting because I actually don't have Concert Techna. I just have her outfit and I put it on a Bleavix Techna. So now I actually have Concert Techna. Of course, I'm not, I wouldn't have been so like co like elitist that I would have been like, ugh, my, co my collection's not complete until I have the real concert dolls and not these uh, imposters that I created. Like, I'm not that picky, but it's just cool to have the real one now, you know? And her outfit's in much better shape than mine was because mine was, um... I don't honestly know what the deal was with mine. Like, it was like they sold the Believix dolls with four concert outfits for some reason, but all the concert outfits were kind of torn up. Um, so yeah, I got a concert bloom, an actual concert bloom, an actual concert techna, and an actual concert flora now, so all I would need is Stella now, but again, not that picky. <laughs> all right, and last, but 100% not least, I geeked out when I saw this doll. Um, this is like a ridiculously hard to find doll for no reason and it really frustrated me because I remembered seeing her in stores so many times and passing on her and one of my goals originally when uh, Monster High and Ever After High were around was to get all of the cat dolls but I ended up not picking up any Kitty Cheshire dolls except the Wave 1 one. So I saw this doll laying on the table and just had to take her home and it is Spring Unsprung Kitty Cheshire. Um, I'm pretty sure she's complete because she even has this purse rubber banded to her arm which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm just so excited about this doll. This is a doll that you could put on her own shelf and she would just shine on her own, you know? Like, if other other ones, I would, like, want to put the whole line together and be like, look at this complete perfect line. But with this one, it's like, kitty. Like, she's so perfect and beautiful. And that's why everybody wants her and she's so expensive. And I understand why, but I really don't think she's worth the price that people charge for her. So I'm really, really thankful that I could find her for a price that I was willing to pay. And she's just so cool, every detail. I mean, by the time I decided that I wanted to buy her, she ended up being so expensive that it wasn't even within, like, my ballpark, and I was really upset about it. So this is just really, really cool, and this is another proof that all good things come to those who wait. All right. And lastly, we're going to go through this. Um, she just told me to take the whole bag and not bother sorting through it, um, even though a lot of this stuff goes to other dolls that she had, but she said, like, whatever. Um, and I actually just noticed this goes to the hydration station, so that is pretty sweet and convenient, because I did not notice that before. Oh. Is this a Liv shoe? I think that goes to Liv. She had a few Liv dolls. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Bratz the movie Glitter. Fun. <laughs> Someday I'll collect Bratz, I guess. 
Uh, this, I think, goes to the Masquerade Bratz dolls. Yeah, it says MGA, so probably. Uh, oh, it's really pretty. It's like a... Oh, there was that Pixies line. It could go to that because it looks like a butterfly. Not sure. I'm going to put these in the bag. All the things that I find. So they're here because there's a few gross things in here. Um, here's some Candyland lip gloss and body tattoos. Um... This says Spin Master. Oh, this goes to a... Forgot what they're called. I said it earlier. Uh... Sky Dancers, I think? I don't know if they rebranded them, but this is a Sky Dancers base. That stinks because I saw the Sky Dancers doll. I would have left it with her. Uh, oops. This, I think, also goes... Oh, what is this? Never mind. I don't know what this goes to. Doesn't have a brand on it. Butterfly wand thing. Uh, here's a... Fun hair extension clip. Always fun. Um, this is like a fundraiser prize propeller. It looks like it lights up. Very random things in this bag. Uh, it's chicken o'clock. <laughs> um, this figure, who I don't know who it's from, but it's like somewhat familiar to me, so it's bothering me. Um, so yeah, if you guys know who this is. Let me know. Hello. This is Venus McFly Trap's shoe. It's not signature because it's not painted, but it's that same mold, so I don't know. Which one that goes to? Never hurts to have extra. This definitely goes to Tinkerbell something. What is it? Yeah, Jax, 2013, so that's Tinkerbell. This shoe, I actually don't recognize. It's not from a doll that I have. Um, or I'm too familiar with. It kind of looked like a Gigi shoe at first, but it has all these flowers on it, so I don't think it is. I don't know. Here's some uh, clover lace earrings. <laughs> so random what you can find in doll lots. The Sweet Screams Abby's other shoe, score. There's more Monster High shoes than I expected in here. <laughs> Ooh, just got a whiff of cigarette smell. This is a Barbie shoe. This bag is really bad. Okay, we have um, Howleen's Diary. Cool, mine didn't come with that. Now I have one. Uh, these are from the initial release of the Equestria Girls, I think. She had a few of those. These are Jack's Tinkerbell Wings, I think. I've never actually had one. I think there's one in here, actually. This is from the Jack's Skechers. Oh, no, never mind. This is like a McDonald's Skechers, I think. She had some Jack Skechers dolls, but that looks like it's just from, like, McDonald's. This is a bracelet that says, respect yourself, live drug-free. Important. Um, really pretty sparkly brat shoe. She had some cool Bratz dolls, but, like, I'm not super into Bratz, so I didn't grab any. Um, here's that Tinkerbell that those wings probably go to. She's got, like, tape on her. She's no outfit, though. Um... Hey, magical membership card from Bloom Believix. That's cool. Um, I wish it. I, I'm missing the Aisha one and the Musa one, so that would have been cool if one of those was in here. But it doesn't look like they are. Um, the I don't think that's the original Rainbow Dash, but one of the Equestria Girls Rainbow Dash cards. Um, there's so much like gross. There's like candy in here, so mm. okay. Here's an itty bitty Lala Loopsy. I think that's one of the fairy ones. Slap bracelet! Love those. <laughs> a Draculaura arm with something really gross on it, but I think I was missing a Draculaura arm from the fear leading one, I think. Where'd she go? I see a lot of fear leading shoes, but I don't see Draculaura. Where is it? Oh, there she is. Hey, I was missing a Draculaura arm. It's the wrong arm, but like in a, in a pinch. It'll work. I need to wash it though, because that's really gross. I don't know what that goo is. Um... These are Mattel, 2008. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh man, this is a Lottie Daw shoe, I think. Cute. She had some Lottie Daw dolls that I was so tempted by, but I didn't pick them up. I'm so tempted to just go back and buy everything. Um, a blind bag uh, rarity that I don't actually have, so. Cool, nice. I think this is another Lottie Daw shoe. Looks to be about the right size and there's no branding on it. 
I'm gonna go back and pick up the Lottie Dawes. I legitimately left uh, the Viva La France uh, cyan behind because she was missing a shoe. This looks like from a Bratz Kids or something. Oh, another Laguna arm! Yay! Whose might this be? Yay! It's the right arm for this one. I don't know if it actually goes to her, but I don't care. Yay! Convenient. All right, so now all the Lagunas have complete arms. It's pretty solid. I think this is a brat shoe. Really cute one. It's a strappy thing, Monster High Stand piece. Uh, Bratz the movie Highlight Tube. It's probably where all the goo is coming from, all these like... Yeah, look. Bratz the movie Nail Polish Open and Spilling. Ew. Um, there's like a lot of doll shoes in here, but I don't want to dig through it anymore because it's like really gross. Um, I don't know what this shoe goes to, but I think I have both in here. This is probably a Barbie shoe because it's itty bitty. Um, I don't know. This is from a new Bratz, I think, which she had a few new Bratz, which again, I was really tempted by. No idea who that goes to. Just says China, no branding on the bottom. Ugh. It's so gross. Oh, they, um, this goes to Quiet Crush. I might be missing that shoe. I lost a few, so that would be cool. Uh, this goes to a Star Darlings doll. Uh, that's from a Spectra fashion pack that I have, but always nice to have an extra shoe. Maybe someday I'll find the mate. Um, a few Barbie shoes. I don't know what this shoe is. It's really big, and it says 2008 Mattel again. This is a Tinkerbell shoe, but only one, unfortunately, but... Who knows? Um, and then this heel. And then the rest is like gross makeup and pencils and stuff. But they're all like Bratz branded makeup, which is kind of nice. Um, and then this shoe, which is just marked Indonesia. All right, so that is the giant lot of dolls that I got today. I definitely think it was worth the drive. Um, while I was driving over there, I was not so sure because I was so miserable and tired. Um, but it was absolutely worth it. Like, I should not have doubted that. Like, oh my goodness. I'm so excited and grateful to add all these dolls to my collection. And I'm super excited to fix them all up too. Don't expect a video on me fixing up all of these dolls because like, I don't want to record that much because I'm just going to be like going ham on them. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Uh, I think this is the biggest haul I've ever done on this channel and somehow it's one of the shortest. Yay me. <laughs> all right. Um... I don't know what to ask this time, so just bye guys.